Hello! Shadowcat back with more Guild Wars 2. Yes, and I'm Blizzard Star, and we are back in the Grove. Goody. Yep, we finally got everyone together. Flunt decided to get off his ass and finally come to the summit. Yeah, and we get to go talk to the Pale Tree. I'm sure she's about as happy to see us now as she's always been. I'm sure but she's ecstatic very. to see everybody. She's far too naive not to be cynical about this. Mm, I suppose so. So, I mean, shall we? Let's go. Yeah. I mean, is there any way that this actually goes well? Probably not. I mean, as much effort as we went through just to get the people here, the moment that we put, like, Smoter and Flunt in the same room, there's going to be murder done. Oh, you know it. And, I mean, to say nothing of, like, the rest. The the queen queen uh queen yeah. someone. I mean at least um Newt Snowbear, whoever he is, should be fine. I should hope so. Well, I guess we'll find out. Mm-hmm. I'm sure she has far larger concerns. True. You are only one among her thousands of children. Not as dear to her as her firstborn, like our heroic Pact Marshal. It may be wiser to focus such commentary on someone without a violent criminal history, Countess. Knock hey. and uh, Countess niece got into it a bit. I like him. Mm, fair enough. Well, at least All our right. little group here made it. How's everyone doing? We so did they it. said. Everyone I'll believe it when how they see it. This is. They'll be here. Remember your place here. We have an audience with them. It's not a party. Agreed. We may not be able to speak at all. They're here to talk to one another. They'll listen to the boss. I know it. You make Are a you lot sure? of assumptions. Yeah, right? This envy of your older siblings ill becomes you. You'd do well to find a way past it. I think you overestimate the value of being first. A windfallen fruit has never appealed to me as much as one left on the bough to ripen. You do keep those blades of yours keen, Countess. Forgive my meddling, Petal. It's just that I see such potential in you. Petal? I fear you've only employed me in order to sharpen your wit or work on your plant puns. Why not prove me wrong and tell me your true purpose? All in good time. Do you treat everyone you encounter like children? <laughs> You're a delicate flower, aren't you? So easily bruised. I have a thick skin. I also learn from my missteps. For example, you fooled me once with your illusions. So now I wonder if you're truly as young as... Do not finish that sentence. Not here. Not ever. At last, a substantial response. Yes, well, you would be wise to remember your place and check that tongue of yours. Ooh, when will you I tell like me why him. You me here? I'm trying to decide if I can trust you out in the field. I mean, after that nasty business on South Sun. Regardless of what you may believe, I was trying to free those refugees from the Consortium's exploitation. I went about it poorly, criminally. And I answered for my crimes. Your intentions in that affair, whether noble or not, aren't what concern me. It's your failure to evade capture. I beg your pardon? Noble intentions <laughs> don't interest me. What I need is a sharp instrument. A knife that can be employed before anyone realizes it's struck. Show me what to cut, Countess. And I will be your blade. Interesting. I like him! Can I trade you for him? Hey! Possibly, but that, not not the time. <laughs> Turn. I had word this summit uh, from the mother. You're doing a good thing. Those of us who remember the encounter with Zaitan know how merciless the Elder Dragons can be. I applaud your effort. Your presence is appreciated. I'm only here to give you moral support. 
and to answer any questions about the pack's current plans. You're the one who must make the world leaders see that this is a matter of dire importance. What's happening in the pact? We've regrouped and regained some of our strength after Zaitan. We had been planning to go after Kralkatorik, but then we heard about the dragon's bellow. Are you ready to take on Mordemoth? Not yet, but we will be soon. We're setting up a forward camp from which to begin the assault. I will call on you at some point in the future. We'll need your special skills. I've been away. I had noticed. While I would prefer you at my side, I also know that you have been instrumental in saving many lives. You have your own path, my friend. Who am I to say it's less important than mine? Been one thing after another, I must admit. I suspect you have many stories to tell, and we'll talk more soon. But for now, I believe you have a world to unite. I'm confident the attendees will listen to you. Good luck. Thank you. Well, he sees potential. He's the only one. Oh. Hold on. Hi, Rox. You're the only I one don't... in this group I actually respect. Shh, shh. Quiet. Hey, it's Casimir. Announcing Her Royal Majesty, Queen Jenna of Divinity's Reach. Hi, you made it. You look beautiful. Representing now go, the great before Roger the Queen Corbett, notices you're gone. Mute I missed you. Me too. Oh, I was wrong. It's White Bear. And there he is. Thanks. Not Snow Bear. <laughs> Close enough, though. Close enough. On behalf of Ratasoon's Arcane Council, Councillor Flunt. Boo. Keep your voice down. Flunt. He'll be trips on his roads. <laughs> you were saying Both of you keep your voices down <sighs> And finally Smoda the Unflinching Imperator of the Black Citadel For the legions Okay, well, Pardon I guess that's me. it. The world leaders are assembled and awaiting your presence. You may proceed to the Umphalus Chamber. Well, thank you. That's our cue. Best behavior, everyone. I can't wait to see Flunt's stupid face when he realizes we're right. Pardon, I'm sorry to interject myself, but I'm afraid your golem won't be allowed to ascend to the Umphalus Chamber. What? Oh. This is for grown-ups anyway, Tiny. You need to wait for us down here. You're kidding, right? Somebody needs to stay down here and guard our backs. We'll be vulnerable up there. I'll tell you all about it later. Promise. You'd better remember every little detail, Bram. All right. Scruffy and I will guard the way up. Why can't you just ride Bram? All right. Have to see the pale tree. Whoosh. And up we go. The world's biggest seed. Yeah. Big enough to fit a char? Yeah, that was very big. Esteemed <laughs> leaders, welcome to the Grove. Your attendance at this critical summit is appreciated. We are here at the behest of the honored group you see before you. I'm told you're all familiar with one another, so I won't make introductions. 
I will, however, let their spokesperson give us a summary. So, without further ado, please begin. Oh, that's you. <sighs> Good luck. Thank you. Greetings. I'm Blizzard Moonstalk. Thank you for coming. It says much about your leadership that you did. We've all been hearing about. Mortimer's awakening and the damage the Elder Dragon has already wrought. The time this dragon has been awake, it has seen, been sending out vines as far as the Iron Marshes. Soon, Teriel will be nothing more than a giant briar patch. These vines are malicious. Fort Salma has been destroyed. Fort Concordia as well. Their defenses could not keep out an enemy that rises from beneath, shaking the very foundation of their walls and towers. We can't know where it will attack until it does. No one's safe. Our families, our people, our trade routes, most recently our waypoints were threatened. It may be again someday. This is why I stand before you and ask you that you, most powerful leaders of Teria, link arms and armies and work together to keep one and all safe and secure. It's up to us. There is no one else. We must unite. We are Tyrians. Thank you for listening. Thank you for that information. Esteemed leaders, what are your thoughts? Mordramoth. <laughs> its attacks have been far-reaching, but unfocused. Meanwhile, Ascalonian ghosts continue to harass us. Didn't we take care of that? I thought we did. If oh. the Ascalonian ghosts aren't reasoned enough, we have an army of Flame Legion constantly nipping at our heels, just waiting for us to leave the Black Citadel unprotected so they can invade. And when Mortimoth has destroyed our Citadel, what then? That will happen over my dead body. How can you even suggest such a thing? It already destroyed two forts. A friend lost her sister in one of those. And you and I lose soldiers every day to the Ghosts and Flame Legion. We must defend our land. You have hope now that ghosts can be sent to the mists. Mm, true. You were instrumental in that. I saw it with my own two eyes. Sir, I truly believe that Mortimoth is the greatest threat right now. They're plant creatures. How hard can they be to fight? One good flamethrower, and... With all due respect, those two forts were defended by Fidgel and Seraph. They were unprepared, taken by surprise. In the future, everyone will be more alert and ready. I saw with my own two eyes how these places were torn asunder. I heard it was bad. Hmm. Okay... I respect you, and that alone is the reason I'm agreeing to explore this. I make no commitment, but I'll participate in the discussions. Thank you, Imperator. Holbrek has its hands full with Jormag and the sons of Svanir. You want us to leave our homesteads to their mercy and go after Mordromoth? I remember the day Jormag awoke and spewing cold hatred upon my people. I've lost friends, family, and every single day it's a struggle to keep from losing more. Mordremoth doesn't care that you're busy fighting back, it's coming. Mordremoth is not yet as close as the sons of Svanir. They press in around our homesteads. That is more important. If you wait until Mordremoth attacks to react, it'll be too late. I do not command an army. My people make up their own minds and follow their own legends. Then make them aware. Join the discussion and relay what you hear. That is something I can do. The hunters choose their own prey, but I can make sure they know what's coming. I know many who would leap at the chance to fight a dragon. That's all I ask. I have wolfborn and hunters who are eager to face the prey of a lifetime. They'll come. Why isn't the pact handling this? Are they mired in ore? 
Aren't you being a bit alarmist? What does Traherne have to say? I want to know what he and the Pact are doing about all this. It's their job, after all. You've seen for yourself what the Mortem can do, Counselor. And if I may interrupt, the Pact Commander has far more knowledge about Mordremoth than I do. I am here to learn, to listen, and to consider. As you all should, the Pact is not all-powerful. I'm sure the Pact will do all they can, but they won't be enough. Won't be enough? Why not? You took down Zaitan. What's so different about this one? Just do it again. We lost many in that fight. The Order's numbers are reduced. Well, that's your responsibility. Many of those lost were Asura. All the more reason not to cut yourselves off from the rest of us. We have ample protection. Are you saying we should put ourselves on the line to protect all of you? We are safe in Ratasum. Are you? Like you were safe underground? Hmm. Point well made. Though it galls me to admit it, if we haven't come to the surface, Primordius and its destroyers would have annihilated my people. Then you see the wisdom in joining forces with others who also want safety. For now, we will continue to study the situation and participate in discussions with the other races. For now. Thank you, Counselor. Much as I am loath to admit it, Rathasum has evidence of Mordramoth's insidious invasion. Its tendrils prey on the magic that powers our waypoints and gates. I don't doubt that Mordramoth is a great threat to Tyria, but the safety of my people must be my foremost priority. We are brave and strong, but we are few. For so long, we've been at war. Centaurs run right up to our doorstep. Every week I send letters of condolence to families who have lost loved ones. Your situation is no different than any of the others. Perhaps that's true. We all have a responsibility to protect our people and see them prosper. But I'm not ashamed to admit that I don't see how this will work. What are you asking of us? All I'm asking is that you talk to one another. Talk? How will that help? I can barely get a ceasefire with the char, and you want us to coordinate our efforts against the dragons. This is a chance for solidified in relationships with the char over a common enemy. You make a good point. Still, I cannot promise today that we will march into battle with you. If you'll join the discussion, you'll find the best way to contribute. I do have strategists and researchers that aren't needed to fight centaurs. I can form them into a team and ask the best way to proceed against Mordramoth. The entire world is in grave danger. You have all a role to play. Yes, I believe I see. You have opened my eyes to the breadth and depth of this threat. It's not another kingdom that is in danger. It's all our kingdoms. All our peoples. Magic is the lifehood of... lifeblood of Tyria. Without it, I hate to think. I will explore how my people can support the effort. You have my word. And I don't have all the answers, but we'll find them if we work together. I will dedicate a special force to dealing with this new threat. If there is no Tyria, there is no Divinity's Reach. You have all given me hope for Tyria. It seems we... Oh my... Under attack by what? I have no idea. Whatever is big, mean, mad. Oh. Send the leaders down once it's six. You can't! They tore up the lift as soon as they got here! You're trapped up there! No, we're not. Yes. Start preparing a portal. Already on it. Okay. Let's okay. Let's get the leaders to Casimir's portal. Come on. Casimir's got a portal up. All we gotta do is hold the line. Okay. It's time for a little shock and awe. Shock and awe is good. Way is clear, sir. 
All right, one's away. It's been ages since I've won a battle such as this. Bring on more drama. Queen Jenna's going to. I've got new white bear. Bram's going too. Okay. It's time to get. Wait, is that Flunt? That's Flunt. Can we not let the Mordrum have Flunt? I wish we could, but we need the Sura. Do we? We have timing. Yes, sir. Before you go, I must speak with you alone. What? Now? Please. Is this really the time? Come closer. Yes. Yes, I can sense you clearly now. I am weakened. Are you okay? What happened to you? I... I can't take much more. That assault was fierce. These Mordrum tore at my roots and battered my branches. And be warned, there is another. Another Mordrum? Yes. One of the most dangerous. It comes directly from Mordromoth. It draws nearer. If I die... You will not die today. Where is it? Tell me. Shh. Listen. You will hear it approach. I will stand in its way. Oh, I think I hear it. How many you, big portal? jerk? Portal, portal, Whatever portal, portal. Are. Portal's gone. Oh, that's ominous. Just a tad. Yeah. Oh my! That's a dragon! Casimir, what happened? Where'd your portal go? I... I don't know. It was hard and slow. Then all of a sudden, it's cut off. Look! It's attacking the chamber! Hang on. We'll do what we can from down here. Just hang on. Uh, yeah, you're gonna do what you can from down there? What exactly do you plan to do? Well, as much as they can, I suppose. Lightning storm. Do you think lightning will hurt this thing? Do you have a better idea? That's a good question. I think lightning's as good as just about anything. That's true. Come here, you jerk. I see him. Wait, shadow of the dragon? He's only a shadow? Apparently. Apparently, the main dragon's a lot bigger, for sure. Oh, yay! Um... Okay, wasn't a whole lot I could do about that. No. How are you supposed to see safe from that? Oh. Super dodging abilities. <laughs> Come here, you big ugly thing. Come on, stick your head down here. There he is. And there he goes. No, 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 no. That takes more energy. Do behind. Oh, no. Okay, need help. I do too. Bring it in the Iron Legion. Oh, oh no. run! Oh god. Successful oh, no. dodge. Ooh, another successful dodge. That's impressive. I don't know how you did that. This dragon's got nothing on me. Get up. Thank you. All right, dragon. 
Yeah, you're not pulling that with me. Come on, stick your head down. Come down here and fight like a lizard. <laughs> I don't think he liked that. I don't think he liked it at all, no. Zappy Zappy. You're not gonna catch me with that. Stop trying. You're kind of pissing me off. <laughs> uh oh. One of the flying more drunk. Yeah. Stuck his head through. Perfect. Shoot Have a face. lightning storm. Ew. That was bad. Oh. Couldn't dodge that one. Nope. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Help All me, right. please. Oh. <gasps> Hold on. Hello. I have something just in case. I brought this from Lion's Arch. That's helpful. I forgot to pick up my pistols, though. You always forget to pick up your pistol. Ouchies! And I brought that with me. I stuck in my bag. Leave me alone! Whoa, that's a big shot. Heal! All right, I killed one of the tendrils. Nothing poison. All right, all the tendrils are down. Now stick your head down here. Get shot in the eyes. Lightning bolt. You fly away with your tail between your legs. No, come back and let me kill you. <laughs> the threat has been quelled for now. Oh, please, come closer. You okay? Does she look okay? Seriously, why would you ask a question like that? Well, I mean, she's a tree. Please, please. I must share something with you. Share something with you. I'm fading. Okay, well, that was bizarre. Yeah, what did she show us, do you think? Why are these visions never clear? I don't know. Quickly, she's hurt and needs mending. All right, let's get out of here. Ready? Well, this doesn't look good. Well, uh, yeah. Leaders. Smoter. Queen Jenna. Huh. It would appear that you were right. This attack kills any doubts I had now about how dangerous Mordremoth is. 
Please, if you learn anything else about it, would you let me know? I'll pass along what information I can, yes. Kunt? Wolf would be proud of the beating we gave that dragon. I can't wait to tell my sons about this. They'll start polishing their weapons to fight Mordremoth before I can even finish telling the tale. You fought well. Blunt? Excelsior! As much as I appreciate your efforts in fending off that monstrosity's attack, I am anxious to depart this overly fragrant hothouse and relay these developments to my colleagues in Ratasum. You may leave whenever you like, Counselor. Now is good. Now is excellent. I can kick you there if you like. <laughs> Small, uh, Imperator? You have a question? We'll head back as soon as we've helped these Silvari. That's thoughtful of you, Imperator. Then what? Then I have a strategy session with my tribunes. They need to know what I've learned here today. After that, I'll delegate someone to work with the other races. That's a smart plan. I know. Yes, I'm proud of Might I suggest that he designate you as the delegate? He... Maybe, but does he have control over us anymore? We kind of are... I'm pretty sure as long as you've got horns and a tail, he has control over you. Oh, well, fair enough. That's why I got rid of my horns. <laughs> oh, wrong way. Treherne? I am leaving now. I'm eager to return to Fort Trinity and continue our preparations against Mordremoth. This reminds me of the blight gas at Claw Island. Poor Lion's Arch. It has had more than its fair share of bad luck lately. Far more. There is an intelligence behind this attack that does not fit what I know of about the Elder Dragons. Agreed. That pack was well too, pack was too well timed. We need more information. Who knew about the summit? Only those present, anyone they told. Hmm. Too many. Information like that leaks like water through cotton. Not helpful. Someone sent the shadow of the dragon after us. Who would do such a thing? I don't know. But I intend to find out. Someone with a heart full of darkness. I hope they rot. Well, I mean, tell us how you really feel. They're betrayers and backstabbers. So am I! Mm. Oh my god. You're fine. That was horrible. I'm still shaking. Is the pale tree going to be okay? No one seems to know. The Silvari I talked to have never seen her like this. That dragon hurt her badly. That Zephyrite saboteur had a note on him that pointed to an important target. The leader. Do you think he meant the pale tree? I think he took that answer to the grave. But this dragon minion sure convinced people that this summit wasn't a waste of time after all. Are you feeling okay, boss? You've got a strange look on your face. It's been a strange day. Very much so. Rocks. What happened up there? The pale tree, before she lost consciousness, gave me a vision. A vision? What kind of vision? I don't know. There was a golden light and crystals everywhere. You sure the dragon didn't just give you a bump in the head? Positive. The pale tree showed me. Felt like a call to action. What action? What was she talking about? I'm afraid I don't know. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah, and the first thing is to learn all we can about dragons. Just tell us how we can help. Cass and Jory, I want you two to go to Derman Party. Research is right up my alley. We'll go straight there. One of us will mail you when we have enough information to share. Thanks. Timey, you need to continue your own research, but keep it quiet. Yeah, we don't want any more nosy counselors butting in and derailing my work. I'll be discreet, boss. Everyone will think I'm just doing schoolwork. Perfect. Bram and Rox, stay close to Timey in case she needs anything. You got it, boss. But what about you? What are you going to do? Decipher that vision. Terrier's future depends on it. Very well, Canuck. 
Playtime is over and you've passed your audition. You're to go with them. Why? I want you to learn what you can about the Pat's plans. Follow them to their staging area. I need someone there I know who can get the job done. And I believe you may be that someone. I shall prove you correct until we meet again. Wait, so Kanaka's gonna come with us? Apparently. I really do get to replace him with you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't do that. Yet. Uh huh. Yet. I walk. Uh, open. Uh, wake up with you having a knife against my throat one day, won't I? Absolutely not. I would poison your next meal. We. You already tried that, and it didn't work very well in your favor. In my defense, I did not. I, I severely underestimated your constitution and did not use nearly enough hemlock. Fair enough. Next time, it'll be pufferfish. Puffer. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I will take no chances with you. <laughs> if you survive that, then you will be the weapon we use against the dragons. What? Send them in? Poison them? Uh, I load you up on enough pufferfish poison to kill a dragon and then feed you to the dragon. Jeez. Thank you. Hey, we all have to do our part. Mm-hmm. Anyway, though, uh, we speaking of parts, uh, we have to pick apart that vision. We definitely do. We'll be at this for a while. Yeah. So, Hope you're up for a puzzle. A yeah. So we're going to go do that and take a break. Yeah. Probably, uh, probably catch a nap. A very long nap, maybe with a lot of alcohol included. Well, only for you. Well, yeah. So, if you want to see what we come up with, make sure that you're subscribed so that you can come back here and see what we do. Give us a big old claw thumbs up to see us kicking that uh, Shadow of the Dragon. Well, a couple more times. I mean, we both kind of died and I had to use my backup. Uh, so did I. Yeah. But hey, if you liked it, yeah, leave a thumbs up. Then come yeah. back and leave us a comment down below. And we'll see you back here next time for more Savari to run through me again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, we'll see you then. And until then, take care. See you later. Bye.